In previous videos, we've separated out the good from the bad to show you the best free programs. Sadly, for a variety of reasons, there is software you should avoid because it could cause more harm than good. So coming up, we'll share with you the five free programs we believe should never be installed on any computer. We'll let you know what those programs are, why we don't like them, and show you alternatives to those programs. Let's go. First out of the gate is Zoom. Gaining in popularity over the past year, their video communication service lets you set up video and audio conferencing, live chats, webinars, and screen sharing, along with other tools for collaboration. Zoom is available for just about every operating system, offering both free and paid plans. There are many reasons to not use Zoom. Notwithstanding the privacy concerns, there are serious issues regarding the company's security protections that have made it easy for hackers to interrupt video conference calls, which is known as Zoom bombing. Zoom has leaked thousands of their users' email addresses and user photos to complete strangers and has other issues on how it handles contacts in its database. Zoom had failed to disclose a secret web server installed on millions of users' Macs, which could lead to their webcams being activated without the user's permission and more than half a million of its users' email addresses and passwords have been made available for sale on the dark web. Those are just a few of the reasons to not use Zoom at this time. I could go on with more, but that should be enough for now. While no alternative is perfect, there are a few options to consider with better track records. First of which is Google Meet. Discord is not just for gamers, anyone can use it. And there is Microsoft Teams offering both free and paid plans. Next up, we have CCleaner. This utility is used to clean potentially unwanted files and invalid registry items from your computer. For many years, it was a highly trusted program we used and even recommended on this channel. That all changed in late 2017. In July of 2017, Powerform, the maker of CCleaner, was acquired by the cybersecurity software company Avast. It's all been downhill since then. Since the acquisition by Avast, it was revealed that its installer was hacked to distribute malware, affecting millions of users. Usually, I tell you it's safer to download software directly from the provider's website than using a third-party site. In this instance, the hack took place on the servers of CCleaner, which makes this even more troubling. In version 5.45, they incorporated a data collection module that could not be disabled by the user. After receiving criticism, they gave the user the ability to turn data collection off in privacy settings. It should be known that data collection is turned on by default. And CCleaner also had incidents where users claimed that a vast antivirus was being installed without their permission. The website TechSpot tested this out and verified a vast was installed without their consent. It appears CCleaner has rectified this issue, but for me, this is where I lost all trust in using this program. If you need a more trustworthy alternative to CCleaner, Glary Utilities includes more than 20 tools to get the job done to improve your computer's performance. uTorrent is perhaps the most egregious offender in this video. This BitTorrent client allows users to share or download files. It used to be one of the best and is now absolutely one of the worst. If the adware wasn't bad enough, in 2015, uTorrent got caught installing a cryptocurrency miner called EpicScale without letting their users know. Basically, this program ran in the background using your system resources to make their company a profit. Since then, they've been dead to me. If you need a BitTorrent client without these shady business tactics, QBitTorrent is what we've recommended in the past. It's free and open source with no ads or extra garbage included. QuickTime is a media player that can handle various audio and video formats. While it's still in active development for macOS, in 2016, Apple ended support for the Windows version of QuickTime. With security flaws discovered in QuickTime for Windows that will never be fixed, it's best to uninstall it right now. If you still have QuickTime files in the move format on your computer, the VLC media player does offer support for that file type. And you can also play them on Windows Media Player 12. Now for the legendary Internet Explorer. At one time, it was the king of all browsers, but now it just spends its time hanging out with Netscape Navigator talking about the good old days. With security and stability issues, there is no reason why this browser should be on your computer unless you work for a business with an outdated Microsoft Enterprise plan. Regrettably, it's still built into Windows 10 and can't be easily removed like most other programs. 
Here's how to uninstall Internet Explorer. In the lower left, go to the search bar and type Control Panel. Select it. Let's now dive into Programs and Features. You won't find it in this list. That would be too easy. Instead, in the left pane, click Turn Windows Features on or off. Uncheck the box next to Internet Explorer 11. You'll get this box that shows up. Click Yes. Click OK. When that's done, click the button that says Restart Now. Not only will this turn off Internet Explorer, it will remove it from your computer, sending it to the ash heap of history. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. What free programs would you recommend for others not to use? And what alternatives would you suggest they use instead? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.